Hey guys, it's me, the Home Cooking Hunter. Today I got a brand new recipe for you. Venison tacos, or as I like to call them, Tennessee tacos. Now I don't use ground venison as most taco recipes call for. I use steak, and it is delicious. Now the reason I call them Tennessee tacos is one, the deer was harvested here in Tennessee, and two, most of my other ingredients were homegrown ingredients. So, hence why I call it my Tennessee tacos. Now, let's go over right now the ingredients you're going to have to have for this recipe. Paquito tortillas. Salsa. Sour cream. And guacamole. Tomatoes. A lime. An avocado. Deer. I am bear. Okay, so I got some, a little bit of oil preheated here in the skillet, and I know I've gone over the ingredients for you guys, but I want to tell you a little bit about the meat. This meat right here is the rear quarters of the deer that I harvested. I just cut off some of the silver skin and fat. Very little, so it didn't take any time at all. And I want to just kind of show you the pieces. About that size right there. Boom! Once this cooks down, it'll be really easy to eat. You won't be sitting there just chewing on a piece of meat. So, now that I got a little bit of oil heated up, I'm going to dump it in. Boom! Okay, so we've got three other ingredients that I didn't throw in there because it's all personal preference, but I feel that they are an integral part of it, so if you like this type of flavor, definitely use these. I've got some garlic salt right here. Then after that, we're going to throw in a little bit of a chili powder. And last but not least, some cumin. <laughs> so, if you didn't see it there, that is cumin. Um, and just sprinkle it to taste. Once you try this a couple of times, you'll kind of get it uh, how you like it. Over here is one of our sides. We got some refried beans. Get your poodle going. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> uh, then I mixed uh, refried beans with green chilies and a regular can of refried beans. And also splashed some Cholula hot sauce on top of it, mix it together. It makes a very good little treat with these tacos. First, like the got garlic salt. Don't want to do too much. I do go a little heavy with the chili powder. Oh, is he doing too much? I don't know. <laughs> Coming. Just kind of a light dusting of the garlic salt and the cumin over the entire surface. But if you want to get technical about it, the chili powder, I could say I went over the entire surface two to three times. Alright, so I like my meat with a little bit of pink on the inside. These are very small pieces and it is venison. Venison will, uh, I call it flashing out. It will dry out really quick so you don't want to overcook it. So I've been on this probably for about five minutes on a, I guess, higher end of the medium. I'm probably, my oven tops out at 10. I'm about seven and a half, eight. But I've been on five or six minutes letting this cook, keeping it stirred, going over the ingredients, you know, one, one and a half times, and it's ready to go. Some of this. Okay. Okay. So I don't strain any of the juices off of it because a lot of the ingredients I put in there are in these juices. I'm going to let the meat just kind of take a bath in these juices here. I'm using a smaller tortilla, perfect for tacos. We're going to just scoop out a little bit of the meat. And I'm using the same spatula because it is slotted because we don't want to get a lot of too much juice in there. And you know me being a hungry kahuna, I like to put a lot of meat on my tacos. Okay. So we got this, I'm gonna bust out I, some cheese. 
I got some Mexican four cheese blend. Then I got a Publix. Sprinkle it on there. Boom. Ah. And then I got me some fresh avocado slices. Two of them out there. Mm. Some tomatoes. Diced tomatoes. Put them on. Get them. No one called me an artist. I ain't pretty. After that, what else can you put on? Some guacamole, son? A bit of guacamole in there. All right. Leave that there. Got to get one more spoon. I'm hurrying. I know. And this is the icing on the cake right here. Homemade salsa. If you don't have a recipe for homemade salsa, go to Dagger Store and buy some. All right. There's that. Last but not least, got the lime, a little lime juice. Get on there, okay? Sour cream. Boom. Have you haven't noticed, I'm dressed a little bit different today. I'm busting out my graphic tee. I feel whenever I'm doing any kind of Latin food, just gotta wear a graphic tee. Represent the Latin people. You know, Viva Mexico. All that mess. Just kidding. I love America. All right, guys. That's it. It's a Tennessee taco. I know you're going to love it. So just, just as I always say, as is custom, I've got to take a bite. <laughs> mm. Oh, crap. I think that is good. That's really good. Guys, thank you so much. This was fantastic. I know you're going to love it. Uh, like me on Facebook. Follow me on Instagram. And uh, subscribe to me on YouTube. I'm glad you watched today. If you want to impress somebody, make this daggum recipe. I'm the Home Cooking Hunter. Have a good day. Oh, wait, no. I can't leave you without saying Food is like kids. You got to give it some love, care, and a little bit of attention. Nine and a half times out of ten, it's going to turn out just right. Thanks again. See ya. Mmm. Mmm. Americano